add a how to edit a readme. Um, this is kind of useful for claiming a presentation um, or just making any minor changes to a single file that's already existing on the that already exists on um, the repository. Um, so you'll see today um, I'm set. I'm starting in R4DS Book Club Advanced R on the main branch. This is kind of like the most recent branch. Um, it's the most up-to-date one. Um, and we're going to use not my main account, but a secondary account. And what that's going to do is show you kind of what it looks like without push permissions to this particular repository, which is probably 99% unless, um, you know, you're doing maintenance work and um, kind of taking on a maintainer role of the repository. Um, but for now, that's uh, we're just going to look at it from the end user perspective. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, what we're going to do is make an edit to this readme. Um, so to do that, you start by clicking readme here. And press edit. And what this is going to do is create a fork of this project for you, um, if you don't already have one. And then create a branch that's based on the main R4DS branch, but in your fork of the project. Okay, so that's a lot of words to say um, it's doing the best practice inherently for you. Um, and we'll show you how this would be replicated in um, kind of more manual fashion in Git command line, but this kind of automates a lot of the work. So what we're going to do today is um, move a few presentations around. I think what we're going to do is have two recap weeks. Um, I think we were talking about trying to have a guest speaker um, in on the metaprogramming end of things and possibly some practical review. So we're going to try to do that in cohort one by um, adding a two spacing um, sections here. So, so apologies for quick videoing, um, but I am going to put this in here. Um, we're going to call it metaprogramming view. And um, I think that's, we'll just start with the one week for now. If we need another one, we can put it in later. Um, but I'm just going to do that. Uh, 15, I think. Yeah. Okay. So it's a good habit um, to kind of look at the preview changes on the web editor here. Um, just to give you a quick idea of what I would look at when things change. That's how I would um, review your uh, pull request, for example. So it's a good idea to kind of have a look at this end of things. So you can see, okay, so added a row here, um, changed this date, got rid of this section, and uh, oh, hey, um, I accidentally removed a white line, a white space line so that the markdown isn't rendering properly. Um, so I'm just gonna go back and edit this here. Uh, that's the one I just moved there. Um, and when you look at this again, uh, you can see that the uh, white space correctly renders the markdown, and that's the whole change. So I'm going to propose a change. Um, update readme to add breather week. Apologies for super clackiness. Um, and it's a breather recap week. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna propose changes to this readme file. Um, so what this is going to do is, again, create a branch in a repository, in your own fork repository, and then it's going to push that into the main, um, so that's what's going to happen here. Um, so I'm going to create this pull request um, for folder 1, and this is kind of the end of the responsibility from your end. Um, so f I'll show you kind of what it would look like on my end. Um, so we can see. Sorry about that. So this is going to be kind of how it would look on my end. Uh, I'm just going to switch the window capture here to this one. Um, so this is kind of on my main. Um, on my main uh, account, if you will. And so this is what I would look at. Um, again, kind of a quick intro to what I would be looking at. I'll kind of have a peek at this files changed. Um, and where you can see, you know, I added a row for metaprogramming review um, and changed these dates. Um, so that's kind of how I would look at it. And then what I'm going to do is um, approve that. So 
view, approve the changes, submit, and then merge it into the file, merge it into the main repository. And that's it.